Hello beautiful humans, I'm Gemma Drone and today I'm going to talk about something that comes up in the group a lot but I haven't actually done a video about yet so I decided that it was time to do that. So that topic is repeating numbers or angel numbers or whatever name you have for that occurrence when we look at the clock or see repeating numbers in license plates and addresses, phone numbers, all over the place. And this seems to be happening more and more, or, or at least for more and more people. Um, I believe that it is directly connected with the amount of people that are waking up on the planet right now. And these numbers um, can serve a lot of purposes for us. And it also, I, in this topic, I'm also including other synchronicities. Um, of just having a day where everything lines up perfectly. Or maybe every time you walk out your front door, you see the same bird each day um, for a while. So any other synchronicities that occur over and over and over again. And so these angel numbers um, all, always get our attention. And I believe that's the main purpose of the angel numbers because when we see them, especially when we start seeing them over and over and over again, we it brings our attention out of the mundane everyday life into something bigger, something more expansive, something that feels more magical. And so we start paying attention on a different level. We start paying attention to the things around us and we become more present. But sometimes as it happens, we start to overthink it. We get caught in our mind, we're wondering, you know, what is the purpose of this? Am I going crazy? Is there a purpose? Is there more of a purpose? And all of these things. And we can look up the meanings of the angel numbers and numerology and that sort of thing. And there's some really great um, explanations on that, but often they're contradicting and people have different opinions about what different numbers mean. And, you know, I, I did that for a little while. I would look up the numbers and sometimes they would feel completely in sync with my experience and other times not at all. So I just, I personally decided to let that go and just be present with the occurrence as it happens. And it's also interesting that we often seem to have our numbers that um, show up a lot over time, kind of like our spirit numbers or <laughs> like our spirit, spirit guide or spirit animal um, that we see over and over. And for me, it's 444. And, you know, I think we all have to come up with what that means for us personally, um, because taking someone else's interpretation, it isn't always true for us. And the whole purpose of something capturing our attention enough is that it takes us inward. It takes us looking inward at ourselves, what we're feeling at that moment, what we're experiencing, and um, out of the mundane day-to-day -day life. And, you know, when we have these synchronicities, I believe it, it's often showing us that we're in alignment in some way. And as the planet starts to come into alignment, these synchronicities and these repeating numbers are happening on a much bigger scale. And as we personally come into alignment, the same thing happens. However, it's really interesting that some days you may feel like you are not in alignment at all, like you're having a really shitty day, but yet you keep seeing these angel numbers popping up everywhere. And you're like, wow, well, that's great, but it's, why? You know, this doesn't make sense. Everything's going wrong. And so how can this be a confirmation that I'm in alignment? Because it is the universe saying like, alignment doesn't always feel good, or the path to alignment doesn't always feel good. What it takes, what we have to go through to get there, sometimes is uncomfortable. But these synchronicities are the universe's way of telling us like, keep going. You got this. You are in alignment, even if you feel really crappy right now, but just keep moving forward and stay on your path. And so these are really gentle and beautiful nudges from the universe. Um, and so I would use them 
to bring yourself into the present moment. And it's a reminder also that time is not linear, that it just isn't linear. And all we really have is right now, this present moment. And so let these angel numbers bring you into the present moment, bring you out of the dream of the day to day or whatever, you know, you're worried about or focused on bring you back to the present, take a deep breath or just acknowledge it. But I encourage you not to overthink it too much, you know, keep it simple and how it, how it feels for you and relates to you. Um, but also don't underthink it because I found that after this happened so many times over and over and over again, that um, after a while I was just like, yeah, of course. It's kind of like flip into that, it, like, eh, of course, that's how it always is. But then I realized that's not really honoring the magic of this situation. And the more that we acknowledge and recognize these synchronicities, the more that they'll keep happening in our life. So don't underthink it, don't overthink it, stay present. Let it bring you into the present moment and let it show you something new that perhaps you haven't seen before in yourself, whether it's something you were thinking about when these angel numbers came up and maybe they're directing your attention towards that, or if it's just simply to bring you into the present moment, remind you of the magic of the universe and the magic of yourself. And so if you're having experiences like this and other experiences that are a little mind boggling and confusing, and you're really wanting some help moving through this crazy awakening process in as graceful and powerful way as possible, then please send me a private message and we can talk and see if the work that I do with my clients would be a good fit for you. So sending you guys so much love, open up to those numbers, you already are doing it. And um, if you have any questions, leave them here in the comments and I'll see you in the Facebook group. Have a great day.